Well, I'm responsible for deploying energy storage in Europe and the Middle East. We go to utilities and try to solve their grid issues, grid uh, problems. And that could range from uh, the ability to provide them with fast response uh, ancillary services. Uh, sometimes our, uh, they find that we can offer them solutions with our Advanceon product, which basically gives them flexible peaking resources that are essentially twice the uh, benefit that a, a traditional gas turbine would be, for instance. The energy storage industry has been alive and well, at least with AES, for the last seven years. And we've worked, particularly in the U.S. and in Chile, where we have a pretty strong presence, we've worked with the regulators to uh, develop uh, programs and codes that essentially recognize energy storage, particularly battery storage, for the value it ultimately brings to consumers. And in one of the locations that has done a very good job is in the PJM, one of the world's largest system operators. PJM essentially has put in, in place a pay for performance mechanism that essentially recognize that battery storage brings a lot more benefit than just traditional combustion resources. I get really excited when I think about the amount of renewable energy that today is somewhat curtailed. Uh, and and it, it seems to me with scalable energy storage, particularly battery storage, uh, that renewable level can be essentially uncapped and replace fossil energy. I like the idea that battery storage has moved from maybe several years ago to a concept to the point where companies like AES are literally deploying battery storage to solve utility problems and essentially save consumers money and that's what it's all about.